Greetings, ladies and gentlefish, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. Hurrah! Yay! Woo! Um, last time we managed to have a showdown between Bran and Kuja, which had rather predictable results. I mean, crazy queen turns on her shady, very dodgy weapons dealer and turns out the shady, very dodgy weapons dealer is not someone you really want to turn on. Um, yeah, there was, there was, there was throwing of shade and fireballs and just general ridiculous one-sidedness <coughs> in that particular engagement. But, uh, well, there we go, I guess. There's probably a moral in there somewhere to be learned. Um, I'm going to go with, if you are going to have a really dodgy backer, don't, don't like turn on them. Uh, to be fair to Bran, she did give it a damn good go. I'm going to summon the final thingy, what are they called? Eidolon, that's the word. Yeah, but he was just like, anyway, let's not get into that. Made our way back to Alexandria. Um, Garnet had a haircut, I think. She is soon to attain the Alexandrian throne. Sidane's being miserable because, well, he has the hots for Garnet till Alexandros and he's just a weird little thief uh, with a tail. And we jumped into the role of Vivi. So without further ado, pew! Great. Um, just before I do anything else, I'm going to check my card collection. Realise I only have 40 of them and so it's not an issue. Um, basically, you can only carry a maximum of 100 cards. So if you have any interest at all in collecting as many cards as you can, you want to kind of go through and get rid of duplicates. Um, so for example, I have three different Mithril Swords here. Get rid of duplicates from your Tetra Master collection. Because if you have 100 uh, cards, you will just automatically discard any new ones, which is kind of poopy. But we only have uh, 40 odd, so that is absolutely fine. No idea really why I'm checking Vivi's equipment here. It's been a little while since I played, so let me just double check what he's got, and then we will get on with Das Story. Um, and we'll also get on with, you know, picking up everything and taking everything that is not nailed down, super glued. Um, and has Mjolnir sitting on it just to make sure it doesn't go walkabouts. Okay, cool. So, first things first. I can't remember if I've talked to these guys already. Let's have a chat with Artemision, the Mognet Mailman. You're asking me why I don't deliver mail properly. I can't tell you. Still skin, I've already spoken to you. Do you want to buy a Phoenix Pinion, High Potion and Elixir for 777 gil? The correct answer is yes. Just do it. Just do it. There we go. Thanks, buddy. I'll use the money for my next journey. yippee ki -yay. Right. Um, let's just go up the ladder here. Whee! Now, I can't remember if I took these things earlier on, but now we're up here. Let's pull on the rope. Ding dong. The witch is dead. Bong. 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 Chinese tiny itty bitty little treasure chest. Right. Received Hippo's treasure. Ironite card, goblin card, fang card, those three by the way, if you pull on that rope right back in the beginning when you're playing as Vivi and Alexandra, you can get those cards then. The ones that you get on top of that now are the Shiva card, the Ramur card. Voila. And then Vivi just goes all the way down. So let's just have a quick look at a couple of those cards because the Eidolon cards should be fairly natty. Um... Right. So, what did we get? Ramur! Okay, well, obviously it's magical damage. He's a frigging idol on. 314 is not too shabby for this stage in the game. All his arrows are to the right hand side. Not a fantastic arrow combination, but whatever. Shiva's kind of the mirror. <laughs> 404. Four. She's basically, what's that? Physical? I don't do physical damage. And if you poke me, I'm going to disintegrate. But, I am going to blow your brains off. Um, Ramur at least has a little bit of physical defense, but he's a bit less boomy. Um, so there we go. A pair of Eidolon cards. Uh, you're going to be forced to play Tetra Master in a bit. So it's worth picking those guys up uh, when you can. So we have done that. Um, and obviously, as I've already mentioned, check that's why I checked my card collection, because... 
Yeah. Card collection. Um, let me show you something you can do in the role of Vivi specifically. You can't do this another time. Um, well, actually, I'll show you a couple of things now. So, we're gonna go yonder. This way. So, um, no, I have to remember where they are. There are some little girlies that do skipping. I'm trying to remember. Ooh, what do you mean? We reserved a room at 100 gil for three nights. Uh, no, it's actually 100 gil per night. But I chose this inn because I heard it was 100 gil for three nights. Dear, let's just pay 300 gil and stay at this inn. Well, um, it's coronation week, so the rate is uh, 120 gil per night. What? What kind of business are you running here? Oh. Uh... Mayor's daughter. He's making such a scene. I'm so embarrassed right now. Um, <laughs> this doesn't have any impact on the story, but whatever. Uh, let's just be nice to her. It's not that bad. Thanks. You're very kind. This is, of course, the mayor from Dali, the tight-fisted son of a gun who just oversaw kidnapping people. I have no sympathy for the... I'm trying to think of an appropriate word without... Yeah, I have no sympathy for him. But, I mean, the, the girl, sure, plenty of sympathy for a poor thing. Um. Oh, what should we do? And to answer the question, what sort of business is this? Um, well, it's the same as kind of every other business. They're like, what? There's a coronation. We're going to get loads of people turn up. Well, we're going to increase the price just to try and make as much money as we possibly can. I believe that's pretty sure that's called um, business. Have I missed something here, or am I just... I don't know. Anyway, uh, where have the girlies gone? Uh, let's show you the race first. So if you go down Main Street here... Ooh, right down Main Street. Um, avoid the kids with the balloon. All the way over here. Right. So, you can engage in a race with these two right here. Um, this is a little side thing. You don't have to do this. This is Hip, um, Hippol. This is the kid. And this is Hippol's mummy. They are basically anthropogenic hippos. Eh. Lots of the folks in Final Fantasy IX are kind of animals. It's quite a cosmopolitan world now that I think about it. Anyway, um, if you want to engage in a race, talk to his mummy, Hippo Lady. My son plays too many card games. He needs to exercise. Do you mind racing against Hippo? Um, you can say you'd rather not, or you can say you don't mind. Let's just have a go. Okay, let's start. Right, so the way this works. When I say go, press... So X and A, bearing in mind I'm using an Xbox controller for this. If you're using a PlayStation controller, that would be X and square. Um, you can remap those keys to be like the shoulder buttons or something like that, but I just cannot be bothered right now. I'm just going to press those two alternatively. Basically, each time you press one of the keys, VV will, will put one of his legs forward. The larger the margin that you beat this guy with, um, the better he becomes. Um, so his level will go up as you, um, as you go. The better you do, the better he will become, the harder he will be to defeat. The, har the better you do, you receive cards as rewards. So let's just give this a go. On your mark. Get set. And you can start pushing the buttons soon, by all means. Whee! Yes, I'm playing a nine-year-old black mage, and I'm beating an overweight hippo boy in a race. I am such a classy guy. Vivi wins! I don't know how that girl knows my name, but whatever. Good job. And then if you talk to Hippo, it'll tell you what his level is. Level 5, and he'll tell you he doesn't like running. So let's try this again. Miss Hippo Lady, I would like to race against your son again. I would love to race him. Let's see if I can get any rewards out of this without remapping my keys. When I say go, press X and A alternatively. On your mark, you, as I say, you can start this soon, early. You don't have to actually wait. There we go. We're going to try and beat him in the face again. Beat him! Beat him! Beat him! And we thrash him. Not by as much as last time, though, you may notice. As I say, he gets better. Vivi wins! I think the maximum 
hurt. My son's in better shape too. Here, take this. Received weird card. Yay. Um, I think the maximum number of levels Hippo can go up in any one go is five. Um, I don't like running Hippo level ten. Let's try this again. Yes, 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 yes. Let's start. On your marks. Get set. Go. Except. There we go. Right. So we're still beating him, but again, the margin has gone down. So we're going to see how far we can get with this. Yay! Fifi wins! Woo! Booyah! Good job. I think it's every time Hippol hits a level that's a multiple of 10, you get um, another reward. Let's try this again. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. There we go. Hippo hasn't even disappeared off the screen this time. Vivi wins. It's like trying to play chess against um, artificial intelligence. You'll win for a while, a long time, but it will beat you eventually, and you'll never win again. Carry on, worm card. Hurrah! Go me. Hippo should now be level what? Yep, level 20. I think I'm getting better. Great. The machines are going to take over the world because of this running hippo boy. When I say go, blah, 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 you know the deal by now. On your mark, get set. Let's just hit the buttons early. And off we go. It occurred to me, of course, Vivi could win easily if he just froze the kid's feet first. He's a black mage at the end of the day. Or just burnt them. Ha! Ah, you have blisters! <laughs> Good job. Hippo's level 25. Yep, I think I'm getting better. Let's do this again. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe Vivi should just start savaging people and then he'd win everything. I mean, I know that wouldn't particularly be in character, given that he's such a timid little wimp, but it would be quite funny, if nothing else. You can imagine the Daily Mail, or the Alexandrian Mail headline. Black mages make it to Alexandria. In a case of irony, they kill all the citizens there. He's in better shape. Ooh, Tantarian card. A card that might actually be worthy of my attention. What we got? So, Tantarian. See, not as good as the um, Eidolons we received, but not bad. Not bad. Uh, 2M22. Sweet. What about... Oh, Tombri. 1P21. Okay, cool. Oh, I've got pins and needles in my foot now. Um, as you might expect, Limblum, the city, has nothing in the way of attack. Defences through the roof. What a massive surprise. Um, oh god, pins and needles. Oh, I'm not even the one running, Jesus. I've been sitting on my foot, which is a terrible idea. My son played blah, 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 blah. Let's do this again. He's going to start kicking my backside soon, which is a bit of a problem. But never mind. Let's just kind of milk this for all we can. Go, little Vivi, go! Go! Vivi wins! What level is he now? 35? Yeah, I think I'm getting better. Can we get him to level 40? Come on. Oh, right. On your marks. Get set. Kick him in the face. Kick him in the face. Go on, Vivi. Use your mad black mage skills to run real fast. Vivi wins. My son's in better shape too. Here, take this Armstrong card. Okay, let's see where that is. Um, where's the Armstrong card? Crown worms up there. That's Tentarian again. Tom Bree. Armstrong. You'll come across Armstrongs later on. At uh, 4M13. Still not as good as the Eidolons, but getting close. Hmm. Okay, cool. We're up to stock of cards. 49. What level is he? Level 40. I think. I think I might have some talent. Let's try this again. Doo -doo. I've never got on this, by the way, to um, like the, I've never got Hippolyta to his maximum level. Ooh. 
the buttons that might make this a little bit easier is if you remap it to the two shoulder buttons. Um, but as I say, I just cannot be bothered at the moment. And then I'd have to map them back, and it's like, oh, level 45. I assume his max level is like 100 or something. I don't know. I've never gotten it that high. In fact, actually, given the amount of effort you have to put in in order to collect every different card you can in this game, this is not a mini game I usually put um, put that much effort into. In fact, often I don't even bother with it. But I thought I might as well show you. Ooh, go on, Vivi, get in there, my son. Show that dirty little foreigner how. No, <laughs> that's mean. In fact, Vivi is, I guess, the foreigner. Um, my son's in better shape too. Here, take this ribbon card. Ooh, ribbon card. Ooh. So that will be a piece of equipment. That'll be this one. Uh, as you might expect. Oh, by the way. Okay, so this is the first card we've seen where the stats stop being numbers. So, if you have stats on an item that are high enough, they stop being a number like zero, one, two, three, four, etc., and start they start giving it letters. I'm just being informed on the maximum level hip can reach. And um, we go now to our reporter on the internet. <laughs> go on. Level 99, yep. Each card is already predetermined. Including their stats. Oh, including their stats. Okay. Yes, it's every 10 levels. I'm never going to get him to level 99, by the way. Athlete Queen is probably... Okay. So, yeah. So, here's the thing. <laughs> Sorry, Rebecca just looked up. Um, sorry, I should say Loki just looked up. Um, yeah, a um, guide for this particular minigame and it turns out that like, toward the higher levels people know what cards you get but they don't know what the stats are because they've never gotten that high. Um, anyway, as I was saying, if the number runs out you start getting letters as your stats so B on a stat, as we've got here on the ribbon, is higher than a 9. It's like ridiculous. So as you might expect from Ribbon, those who don't know by the way, Ribbon is an item that crops up in a lot of Final Fantasy games. Tends to give you awesome immunity to negative status effects. So this thing has no attack at all. It's terrible attack wise, but in defense it is rock friggin solid. Mm. Right, so I can't remember if I've explained this or not before. So the first number is your attack stats. The higher the number, the stronger your attack. The M, or it will be a P, denotes whether it's physical or magical attack. Uh, okay. The two letters are your physical and your magical defense. Um, so you go through the numbers. Nine is the highest number. Then you start counting letters. X, I think, is the highest a stat can reach. I think. Off the top of my head. Uh-huh. Okay. Jesus. Right. Hang on. X there. Oh, if it's an X, sorry. If it's an X in place of the P or the M, I believe it. I mean, I believe it means that it goes off the uh, enemy's lowest defense. Um. So what did you say those stats were again? That's a lot. Excellent. That's a lot. Cool. What's the betting its arrow combination is going to be naff? Sorry, Loki was just telling me what um, the next one is. Right, okay, let's try this. We're never... Right, let's see how high we can get. Because, as I say, there's a compulsory Tetra Master tournament coming up anyway. Oh, yeah, we're still beating him. Good, good, good. Thing is, he tends to catch up toward the end. Okay, we still won that one. Oh, the maximum prize is at level 80. Okay. Good job. I think I might have some talent. He's level 55. Come on, we can do this. See if we can get him to level 60. Come on, there's a reward at level 60. Come on. When I say go, put blah, 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 on your mark. Get set. Yes. 
Okay, so that'll be level 60. I'm, I'm getting quite excited about this. My son's in better shape too. Here, take this Nova Dragon card. Ooh, okay, where's the Nova Dragon? Come here, Nova Dragon. But the stats you gave me are tosh for the Nova Dragon, just for the record. Unless they've changed it. The stats you gave me for the Nova Dragon are tosh. Unless they've changed it. Um, right, so Nova Dragon, D, that's a lot. Physical damage, 4 and B. Yeah, I'd like to point out that's still enough to kick anything in the face that you are likely to come across in the compulsory Tetra Master tournament. Of course, that doesn't make you invincible in the actual tournament. You can still plow you badly and get your face kicked in. But Nova Dragon is just going to take a massive dump on anything it comes across. Nova Dragon, by the way, is a boss later on in the game, just for the record. Um, right. Okay, let's see how high we can take this. Ah! He is level 60. Let's run together again. He's getting enthusiastic now, which means you're going to get your backside kicked. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Right, come on. We can do this. Can we get him to level 70? That'll be the next reward. Cool. Right, that's him level 65. Good job. Oh no, 61, because I didn't beat him by much. Oh, this is going to take ages. <laughs> I might edit some out here, and we'll see how we get on. Level 65. Oh, yes. <laughs> right, yeah, hang on a sec. Let me just start it. Um. Right. She'll press, she'll give you uh, the instructions as, again. So just get through that. Right, and then on your mark, you can start pressing it before the time. Get set. You won! You won! Woohoo! Let's have a look. See what we got. My son's in... <laughs> Loki now has thumb cramp, by the way. My son's in better shape too. Here, take this. Received Genji card. Ooh. That'll be, um... No, not item... Oh. Right, hang on. Before we look at the cards... Let's have a look at the cards. Right. That'll be a weapon. That's the ribbon. Genji. That's actually remarkably disappointing given the Nova Dragon. <laughs> it's a piece of armor, so it has no attack whatsoever. Defense is a four and eight, which is good, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but when you compare that to the Nova Dragon, it's just like, what, what, what? Why? For a, it, no, it's not poop. It's just worse than the previous reward. <laughs> Loki does not look impressed. Would you like to try and get to level 70? Uh, 80? <laughs> I uh, totally understand if you... Uh, 0p48. Still worse than the Nova Dragon. Even the unnerved version is still worse than the nerfed Nova Dragon. Um, I would like to point out. <laughs> right, anyway. <laughs> um, I'm now pondering. Oh, how far can we push this? What? Of course there's an emulator for it, but I have standards. With an injured finger, I still do better than you. <laughs> That's just reality. What level is he now? 70... Wait, hang on. I want to know what level your son is. That sounds weird. 77!
Sorry? Um, I said I wasn't going to take this seriously and then you got involved. <laughs> and then it all went wrong. Oh, screw you, hippo lady, and you giving away your son's toys. You're a terrible mother. I hope you die in a fire. Tasty hippo fueled fire. Now I want to know your friggin' son's level, you silly moon. Let's run a together again. Level 79. Right. She is definitely a heifer. That is all. No, she's a fat heifer. I know. She's she's a terrible woman. And I am taking horrific advantage of this and taking all of her son's stuff. Oh, so I've already taken all her son's stuff. <laughs> On your marks. Get set. Fuck. I won with the distance to spare. And I made a mistake. My son's in better shape too. Here, take this. Received Athlete Queen. Achievement unlocked Track Star. Wait, oh god. What are the controls to open the menu? Oh, it's that now, is it? Okay. Uh, no, I wanted cards. Right. Is it? It's just a... Yeah, it's not... You don't get... Okay. Okay. Let's just have a look. Right. Item. Oh, yeah, let's do that first. <laughs> right, config. Let's change the controls back. Card. Uh, no. Item. Yes. Key items. I only do what makes my mum happy. You can call me a coward, but only if you aren't one yourself. A rare item received in Alexandria. Good luck, Hippo. Reach for the stars. No, Hippo. No. Reach for a new family because your mother is terrible. Right, just for anyone who missed that, we have hit racing level 80. Uh, there are no further rewards of any description. So, after owning this game for almost 20 years, I have finally received Athlete Queen. Booyah! And I think that will do this video here, I'm going to be honest. I was not expecting to spend the entire video racing against a hippo child who has a terrible mother who asks strangers to come along and exercise her son and if they beat him, she gives away his stuff. It's like a mother standing on the side of the street and just going, right, come over here, beat my son at chess, and I'll give you his Xbox. It's terrible, why would you do that? Oh, bad mother. Anyway, let's call this video here, and next time we are going to continue exploring or re-exploring Alexandria. Oh, good lord, my poor fingers.